Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain Lookout. One of the videos I did uh, last month has been really popular and I've gotten a ton of email requests for information about my light bulb dipole that I used on FT8 to work a guy, uh, I think it was like 700 miles away. Um, a lot of confusion about how I hooked it up. Um, to get to the point of how I made it, the uh, light bulb dipole is a dipole. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, I found this um, square form frame and I found it in a, uh, in a craft store. And so I bought one thinking I would use it on this project. I put on four rubber bumpers that I happen to have in my junk box off of something else. Typically they are porcelain and, and in fact they're often called a porcelain keyless socket. It's a light bulb socket like uh, would have been in many closets in many, many homes, uh, screwed to the ceiling, uh, chain coming down, you pull the chain, light comes on. That's a keyed socket. This one is keyless, it doesn't have the chain. In any case, uh, a portion of it is um, uh, uh, porcelain, ceramic, something, uh, be able to take the heat. Uh, this one I found at a True Value hardware store, I think it was two or three dollars. This V arrangement I also found in a True Value hardware store. <clears throat> it um, I think it was more than the socket. I think it was seven bucks, which was kind of a rip. But anyway, so how did I make it into a dipole? And as I said, it really is a dipole. I'm feeding um, the uh, outside uh, part of the so this part of the socket on one bulb and the center on the other. <laughs> I know that's confusing. So anyway. Uh, why the dipole? Well, I thought it would work better, and as it turned out, it did. So I bought one of these. Um, as I said, <clears throat> True, True Value had that. I think it happens to be a Leviton. I drilled out the um, uh, uh, rivet, the head of the rivet, with an eighth-inch screw, or a drill bit. And then on the um, then I had to pry this part off, off the bottom. Um, so in basically I was able to, uh, sort of pry it loose with a screwdriver. Once that was off, then the two pieces could come apart and this was one piece. There's nothing in it. And I'll put up a picture of the other piece. So in, um, with the socket attached, I'm feeding this outer ring with the shield of the, doesn't matter, but I'm having to be feeding with the shield of the coax. Um, the center is being fed with the center conductor. Um, and what I did to make this into a dipole was to split this sort of brass looking piece. I think it's plated. It, it may be brass, but I, I don't know. So I took um, uh, some side cutters uh, or sheet metal uh, tin snips and cut out a section and then connected a wire so that I'm feeding just the um, center on this socket and not both at the same time. This is one of those projects that uh, is good for a club to do or perhaps some newly licensed guys or if you want to demonstrate it for those who are going to be taking their exam, uh, it's a way to talk about uh, uh, Ohm's law in a very practical way. You can actually see things light up. If um, if you're going to do this your, uh, for your home station, uh, stick it in a window or run it outside and see how far you can communicate with it. On and, and the mode to use really is FT8 because uh, it it when you listen with this thing this thing for an antenna to say you don't hear much is an exaggeration. You really don't hear anything. But it's able to dig out signals and, uh, and, and make contact. So um, one comment that I had from a neighbor who is an engineer who thought that I had made some connection to the house wiring, uh, no, uh, not even remotely. It's dangerous. Just connect it to your transceiver. Be very careful. Keep an eye on the SWR. Use an antenna tuner. Uh, realize that when the bulbs are, are cold, 
the resistance is very different from when they're white hot. And as you might suspect, the resistance goes down. So that's my uh, light bulb dipole. Uh, I've used it a few times. I made a bunch of contacts with it. Uh, I was truly amazed as to how far it would work. Um, in any case, uh, give it a try. It's kind of fun. It's not very expensive. That's it for today. I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for joining me. If you have a question, put it below. Uh, see you the next time. 7-3.